Before we start, everything we're doing in this video can be found on the Visit Rwanda app. Check the link in the description below and you can try it out for yourself. Good morning and welcome back to Rwanda. Today we're doing something that I've always wanted to do. It's the real bucket list thing that you can do here in Rwanda and the world. Uh, we're going to go find the mountain gorillas. Fingers crossed. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're heading towards the National Park entrance right now. Now this is one of the only places in the world where you can go and see mountain gorillas. So, I mean, there's a good chance we get to see them, but it's not guaranteed. And it is also actually $1,500 per day for the permit to be able to do this because they keep it very restricted. There's only 100 people uh, per day who are even allowed to go in. So we're very lucky to be able to do this and hopefully Really, hopefully, we'll get to see them. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good, thank you. Oh. Excited. Kari yeah. is my name, and I'm a packer guy. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, nice to see you. And you too. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> I think that's a little bit of an understatement. <laughs> We've just arrived to the office where we're gonna be starting the trek from. And first we need to sign in with our permits and our PCR tests, because you need a PCR test right now before going out with the grillers. So we have that right now. This piece of paper is worth about $3,000. So <laughs> let's go and cash it in. <laughs> I'm called Ignatius. I'm one of the guides and my colleague Fausti, as you're gonna spend some hours together. Will it be like a family? <laughs> it's another family to this park. That's our silverback right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a silver back. We just finished a quick briefing and we're gonna get the main briefing further on when we meet the real trackers, but this was just an introduction. We've now got to drive a little bit, like 20, 30 minutes to the park entrance. We then have to trek for a little bit to get to the actual denser forest and then we're gonna begin tracking the gorillas. So that gorilla statue right there is used for when they do these gorilla naming ceremonies. So actually like every time there's a gorilla born, they have this big ceremony where you'll have celebrities come down and give them that name. And then that brings the new gorilla into this area. Right, we are here. Okay, we have just arrived to the starting point. It's a uh, I think it's about 30, 60 minutes from here, something like that, until we get into the forest. This is very exciting. <laughs> Batteries coming as we do. Yeah. I bought the sleeping bags. Uh, yeah, I got it. Even if you don't have the sleeping bags, you can sleep in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so we're trekking now towards where the gorillas we already know kind of where they are. The trackers go out in the morning before the tourists and they'll go and find them and then we kind of know where to go and get them. Whew, you can tell I'm out of breath, but I just checked and it's 2,500 meters. So it's not, it's not easy. Get into it now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, we share these volcanoes with three countries, especially on the top of this volcano is where there is the border of the three countries. There's the side of Rwanda, at this side is in Uganda, at this is in Congo. Means behind here is Uganda, behind over there is in Congo. So the last census was in 2016. The population was 604 mountain gorillas. Both three countries. It's probably about an hour in, maybe 45 minutes. And that was our briefing, being told about this group of gorillas. They have two silverbacks, which leads me to think that we're gonna be there pretty soon.
the trackers that we're meeting now. They're going to take us to the grills. Mm -hmm. So this is the team of the gorillas. So these are attempt to know how to behave in the front of the gorillas, also in the park. Thank you. Now it's the time to leave our backpack okay. and the walking stick here. This is the gorilla. When you reach to the gorilla, there is a gorilla vocalization. Okay, gorilla friend is a, when you reach to the gorilla, we say, <coughs> he'll play you <coughs> again. When he, he wants to go away for us, <coughs> he's saying, go away for me. I want to eat something there. Don't point the gorilla. With the gorilla, is it better to wear proper mask. To the gorilla, there is a, it's better to keep a seven meters, but the gorilla is no distance. It's your work to keep a distance. Sometimes, gorilla come close to you, kick you, push you, grab you, don't react and kick back. So as my colleagues said, uh, we just, when we are in front of the gorillas, we need to keep the distance. He talk about the one just who can touch, those are the young ones. They think you are cousins. You see a big number of these mountain gorillas, they born to seeing humans. They think you are cousins. Just so you can see some, they like to peel you. They can push or they can kick. For them it's friendly. But sometimes for us we feed it. This is the reason why just we beg you to follow our instructions. Uh, secondly, we are talking about those young ones. But the big one they can charge. Chest beating means a lot. Before they charge, they have to make sure the extra sack of air is full of. And they start pumping. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And they beat the chest. This can be very squaring. If this happened, please don't run away. Sometimes we suggest to see now. That's a way we want them just to see we are respecting them. They can be by making a big noise. And they come up to close to you. Ah! Making a big noise. It can be even in one meter. If that happened, sometimes you don't have even the way to see it. You have to lay the head down like a submission, and you keep making that noise. Because <coughs> <coughs> for you it can be some, something strange, let us do it for you. Thank you. So one thing they've introduced here is that as soon as we get to the gorillas, the mask needs to go on. Uh, there was a case of gorillas getting COVID, and they're still concerned about that, so once we get there, it's masks on. I don't, I don't think that'll be forever, but at least for us right now, that's what we have to do. Uh, I don't mind, it's still gonna be epic. Okay, so this is Gorilla Poo. Oh. Distinct smell. Okay. It's over nine. He's ten years old. Got the mama and the baby. Get the heat. Okay, move, please, move, 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 move up. No.
That was genuinely incredible. I think when we got there, most people were speechless, including me, because that's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. <laughs> Completely worth every cent. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm, I'm having like an adrenaline come down now. I think. <laughs> <laughs> that was genuinely mind blowing, and there was. We were there for about an hour, just sat with them, seeing them, being completely natural with us as well. And they're like a whole family there. And I'd say it kind of broke up into two parts because I spent the first half getting all the shots and taking photos. And then the second half, we all just put our cameras down and sat with them and had like a really nice special moment. But genuinely, that is one of the best things I've ever done. And to think, there's only, we were told 1,063 of those mountain gorillas left in the world. And there were 10 of them there, including the babies. So we just saw like 1% of all of the gorillas that are left. All right, back on the bus. What was it? Bisangwe Bisanga. 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 Yeah. Bisanga. Ah, okay. okay. Now I just want to finish this video by telling you about the Visit Rwanda app. You can use this app to do everything we've been doing through this whole series of videos of Rwanda and organize it yourself directly with some of the people we've been meeting in this video. Just go check it out, the link will be in the description below. You can plan your itinerary, you can get in touch with people, you can see where things are on the map and plan the perfect trip to Rwanda. Thank you again for watching and see you in the next video.